11 years on Grey's Anatomy. That's crazy Anatomy. talk, right? 11 years. That's that is, because of yes. folks picking up. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's been, it's been a long run. Yeah. Are you ready to graduate? Uh, no, graduate for what? <laughs> we still have stories to tell, and we're still having a really good time over there. So, as an actor, you always think, yeah, I, you know, I'd love to book a series, and it'd be great if it goes mm -hmm. for a while, but you don't think 11 seasons. You, you, there's just no way to ever think that. So, it's wow. been an amazing blessing, and the fact that it keeps growing, and it keeps being innovative. I mean, these are things that weren't even thought of when we started. Right. What does what what rubs off on you playing a doctor all these years? You kind of feel like Ooh. you do you feel <laughs> do you do you feel like you're a doctor at not this point? Not even close. I mean, just... No, not even. <laughs> but I will tell you the thing that was the most fascinating to me, kind of from the b beginning, because we're playing surgeons in particular, mm -hmm. and we would go out um, into the area hospitals and we would watch surgeries and you know follow um, um, surgeons kind of on their right. day to see what it was like. And I really understood why. You know, we get mad at doctors sometimes when our surgeon doesn't come into the room and say hi and make us feel good before right. the treatment, but what I realize is when they walk into that environment, that sterile field, and that person is opened up on the table waiting for them to do the work, it's about that organ. Right. It's about fixing that thing. It's not about how old or young the person was on the table, if they're a good person or mm -hmm. somebody that just needs to die anyway. You know, it's not about right. that. <laughs> it's about, let me fix this thing. And right. I finally, you know, understood sometimes, you know, why you never see the surgeon. And it was a different kind of respect I had for mm -hmm. that you know, that field, because it really, it, once you open us up, it's, it's all the same story in there. Right. And it's amazing. It's amazing, wow. our bodies. I had Omar Epps on the show, and yeah. he played a doctor for years yeah, on the yeah. house, and he said it, it made him become a germaphobe. That's a shame. Has that, that hasn't happened No, child, like that? I'm just dirty as I can <laughs> No, you can't go through three kids and worry about germs. <laughs> you can't. After but, the you first know, one, Dr. Yeah. Bailey was going through, right. you know, dealing with OCD, and I do yeah. find that I'm using hand sanitizer mm -hmm. a little bit, and I do stuff with my hands a, yeah. <laughs> a lot, too. So, you know, I'm kind of watching that behavior, but uh, I don't pick up anything. It's like, you know, Miranda Bailey is her, and I'm over yeah. here, and I can't blend them as much as I try. I love when Miranda goes through things on Grey's. I mean, oh, you really take us there with you. I'm like, is she not gonna get back into surgery? Like, right, right, what? right. Is a man gonna die? My what is going on? You, you know you start <laughs> hollering at the television is good TV. <laughs>